Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. So, you want to improve your intelligence, huh? There are many ways that this can be done. Education is key. It's never too late to learn something new and become a bit smarter than you were yesterday. Here are a few little habits you can pick up that can also boost your intelligence. Number one, play word games and puzzles. Have you heard of any brain games out there that may just improve your IQ? Well, some common games such as Scrabble or Crosswords can help as well. Memory games such as jigsaw puzzles, crosswords, Sudoku, and card games can improve memory and language and reasoning skills. So much so that there are several research studies that use memory games in order to see how much spatial memory connects to language and our understanding of objectives. Sudoku has even been said to lower the risk of Alzheimer's disease, according to the American Alzheimer's Association. Games like Scrabble and Pictionary can affect our executive control while mazes and unfolded prisms help in our visuospatial reasoning. Improving visuospatial reasoning can even lead to a higher IQ according to one 2017 research study. So while you've never won a game of Sudoku, it's best for your brain to keep up those puzzles and word games. Sudoku, anyone? Number two, read the uncomfortable. We can be experts on things that we love, which is good, but who wouldn't want to have a greater knowledge of broad subjects too? Our mind is comfortable reading subjects that we already know a thing or two about. So if you're used to only reading modern fantasy books, pick up an autobiography or a literary classic, or perhaps you're a light reader, delve into that history book that's been collecting dust for the past couple of years. If we expand our knowledge and get outside of our comfort zones, our brains will thank us for it in the long run. Number three, write down your existential questions and thoughts. So you have all these exciting ideas and existential questions, but there's no one around at the moment. Instead of letting these thoughts pass, write them down and exercise your mind. It will not only improve your communication skills, mostly written communication skills, but it will also give you a chance to expand on these deeper ideas, a much needed brain exercise. Number four, learn a musical instrument and take time for your passions. It's important to give your brain a creative outlet. If you have a creative passion you've been neglecting for a while, now's the time to bring it back. Many find their passion in playing a musical instrument. Have you considered learning the violin or the piano or the oboe? One 2016 study found that musicians have a greater working memory than those who don't play a musical instrument. Improving our memory is a great way to boost our intelligence. So it's not a bad idea to pick up a habit of practicing that guitar. With enough practice, you may just finally win a match. Game on. Number five, exercise. A good diet and plenty of exercise will not only benefit our physical health, but our mental health as well. We'll not only have better blood flow to our brain with exercise, but we'll gain a boost of proteins that can help grow our neural connections in our brain. So I guess it's time to roll out that yoga mat. And number six, learn a new skill or hobby. It's time to stimulate your mind. How? Getting creative. You know, that new hobby you've been meaning to try out or that skill you've been wanting to learn, well, now is the time. It's never too late to broaden your knowledge or refine a skill. Welcoming a new hobby and giving yourself an exciting challenge will give your brain the stimulation it's been secretly craving. So, which of these habits will you implement? Share with us in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching.